Hi, I'm Herb Stevens, a skiing weatherman for the West Virginia Ski Areas Association with the latest from the slopes of wild, wonderful West Virginia. For the past several weeks, the central Appalachians have seen temperatures bounce up and down like a yo-yo at times due to a storm track of Alberta Clipper lows just to the north of the mountain state. In advance of the lows, southwest winds have pushed temperatures upward and caused mixed precipitation, with colder air and mountain snows developing once the low pass to the east, and that sequence will play out again early this week. Those cold upslope snow episodes have helped to keep the surfaces soft for the most part, aided by a great job of grooming and snowmaking by the mountain crews. Now what we would really love to see is a sizable snowstorm or two to build up the base steps and provide us with a few powder days. And I think those storms are coming. It starts with establishing deeper cold air over the region and that will happen later this week. Now the clippers have been coming along in the northern branch of the jet stream, but for us to see a major storm, the southern branch has to get involved. I see several strong indications right now that the southern branch will soon break through in Southern California, come across the country and lead to meaningful storm threats in West Virginia starting later in the week of the 16th. I am confident that not only will the snowstorms come, but also that March will belong to winter this year and not to spring, meaning the season has a long ways to go yet. President's Day weekend is coming up short term and light snow later this week should set the stage for some fine skiing and riding. That's the news from the West Virginia Ski Areas Association. I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman. Enjoy your sliding, and if you need some resort info, be sure to go to GoSkiWV.com.